Hey everybody, welcome back to The Odds Couple. I'm Sid Rosenberg, sitting along expert handicapper, the esteemed Mark Lawrence, my dear friend, publisher of the great playbook.com. Another week, Mark, good to see you, pal. Likewise, Sid, one more week before Thanksgiving, let's give them winners. Let's do that, you're right. For the holiday season, last week, a pretty good week. I went one, one, and one, you were one and two, but uh, Jason, very, very nice. Ordinarily will screw me on some of these picks, but gave me the benefit of the doubt, gave me the half a point in that Purdue-Michigan State game, so in the end, I go 1-1-1. One, one, and one. I think he bet you against me is what I think <laughs> happened. <laughs> he probably did. I thought there was a softer, Jason, but you're right. There's always an agenda with this Garcia kid. Anyway, another 2 one week on the trends. That's pretty good. We are on fire there. You're on fire, I should say, playbook.com. Now 18-12 and 12 this year. That is 60%. That's awesome. Let's see what the playbook.com database has in store for us. This week, trend number one, Mark, Arkansas is hosting a Mississippi State team that went down to Alabama last week. A lot of people like Mississippi State. They got murdered. A good scenario for the Hogs. Real good scenario for the Hogs this week, Sid. How about this? Arkansas at home against a conference opponent off a loss, 20-4 and four straight up and against the spread. That's the role for the Razorbacks, who are on a major winning run right now. No Mississippi State for me. I'll lay the points with Arkansas. I like that, Ryan. Mallet playing some good football. Mark, Notre Dame has lost back-to-back -back games and hosts UConn on Saturday. Will things improve for the struggling Irish? I don't think so this week, Sid. You take a look at Notre Dame. How about 0-14-1 to the spread Ouch. at home when they take on a 444 or better opponent that's awful lost? UConn has a week of rest to get ready for this football game off back-to-back -back tough losses all surrounding that Jasper Howard incident, unfortunately. Now UConn rested, ready to roll here. The pressure all on Notre Dame. This trend goes to 0-15-1 on Saturday. Quickly, 10 seconds. Does Charlie Weiss keep his job this no, year? I don't, no, I don't wow. believe he does. I think there's money to be spent by Notre Dame. There's coaches out there that will take the money. Maybe Urban Meyer. I like that. Army visits the North uh, Texas Mean Green as a two-point underdog, even though they historically love the Lone Star State. What about Army in this matchup? How about Army in the state of Texas? Said 10-1 to the spread. Their last 11 visits on, on the road as a dog in the state of Texas. The reason why... Almost all the players, the majority of players on Texas are, or Army are from the state of Texas. Wow. People don't realize that. The majority of players on this football team are from the state of Texas. That holds true with Air Force. It holds true with Navy and Army. For some reason, everybody in Texas sends their kids to the military rather than college. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good trend nonetheless for Army. That is a great trend. Here's the mailbag, Mark Dwayne in Kansas City. He's looking at the Penn State-Michigan State clash this weekend. He likes the Nittany Lions minus the three and a half. I have a feeling... You're going to like the home dog here. I do like the home dog in this football game. So take a look at Michigan State playing, A, their last home game of the season, B, with revenge, and C, against Penn State, a very disappointed football team, off the tough loss against Ohio State in the struggle last week to Indiana. I think Mark D'Antonio, 5-0 and in last home games, improves on that number in this game. I think Michigan State pulls the upset. All right, Mark, remember, if you have any handicapping questions, feel free to send Mark and I an email. We're at the Odds Couple at opensports.com. That's the Odds Couple at opensports.com. The picks are coming up next. Mark and I making you money right here on the Odds Couple.